guys, it's Kim Constable, creator of The Ultimate Yoga Detox, and today I wanna show you how to make a really delicious, thick, foamy, creamy, non-dairy milk for your coffee. Because one thing I missed whenever I went vegan and I stopped having dairy products was something to pour into my coffee. Because all the conventional you know, non-dairy milks like almond milks or um, soy milks, the shop-bought ones, whenever you put, in, put them into your coffee, they tend to separate a little bit and they just aren't as nice. I mean, you can foam the soy milk and that's fine. Almond milk just really does not foam well unless it's made the way that I'm going to show you today. So this is something that you can do at home. It takes under five minutes to make. I make about two liters of almond milk every single day and I make this coffee creamer while I'm making it and I want you to know how easy it is so you can do it too. So there's a couple of things that you need. The first thing that you need is uh, one cup of soaked almonds. So I soak these for about 24 hours and just, you know, almonds in a big jug with double the amount of water and just let them sit. You can actually let them sit for up to 72 hours but no less than 12 no more than 72 about 24 to 48 is fine so one cup of almonds um, you also need about double the amount of water so this is about two cups of water uh, you will need some kind of blender today I'm going to use a Nutribullet so if you have a Nutribullet you want to use the big um, the big cup of the Nutribullet if you just have a conventional blender that's fine you will need a big jug for putting everything in afterwards if you have a nut milk bag these are absolutely fantastic for making almond milk and um, they cost about 1.30 on Amazon and I would highly recommend that you get one even if you just want to try making almond milk if you don't have a nut milk bag get some muslin cloth again you can just buy it from Amazon or even use a tea towel and put it inside a sieve and then once the almonds are blended then what you do is you just pour it into the sieve if you're using a muslin cloth I recommend three sheets of muslin cloth on top of each other that gives you a really good fine mesh sieve and you don't get lots of bits and then the final thing that you need is some coconut oil now I am using processed coconut oil today and the reason why I'm using processed coconut oil is because it doesn't have any taste if you use um, regular like Vita Coco then you'll get like a little coconutty taste which I don't mind at all but some people don't really like a coconutty taste in their coffee so if you don't mind it and you want to use unrefined extra virgin go on ahead Vita Coco is the brand that I recommend otherwise just 100% pure coconut oil this is really cheap this is 1.50 in Tesco you basically just get the almonds and you uh, pour them into the cup and then you Fill about double the amount of water. You don't want to have too much water, actually. I would say, let me settle them down and see. Yeah, about that, yeah, just a little bit more. So you just want them to be covered about two thirds with water. And then you're just gonna pick up your coconut oil and you're just going to pour, it's probably about a teaspoon. I just give it a, you know, I would say it's two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of coconut oil. And again, you can adjust these quantities and use more or less as you need. And then you're just gonna put your blade on your coconut oil. And you're going to blend it in your trusty Nutribullet for about um, a minute, I would say. So once that is blended, you simply lift it off, open the lid, and then you're going to get your nut milk bag and you're going to put it inside the jug and then you're going to pour the almond milk into the nut milk bag. Perfect. Now once you have it in the nut milk bag, then what you want to do is just close the string. I'll move it back a bit. And then you're just going to pick it up. You could just let it drip through here if you want, but I like to pick it up. Just give it a little gentle squeeze with my hands. And you're just going to squeeze all of that milk through until all the liquid is gone. So what you're left with is a really delicious, lovely, thick coffee creamer. Now, if you like your coffee creamer even thicker and you want to make it almost like cream, then you would increase the ratio of almonds and decrease the ratio of water. So you would do two cups of almonds to two cups of water. Um, this I find is absolutely perfect. I have a coffee machine and I like to foam uh, the almond milk in the coffee machine in the morning, which makes it really thick and creamy and lovely. Now, a little tip, you can add some sweetener to this if you want. However, if you add sweetener to it, it the shelf life isn't as long. I actually sometimes before blending add just a little pinch of Himalayan mountain salt or Celtic sea salt. And it doesn't make it taste salty at all, but it does preserve the life of the almond milk. If you put uh, sugar in this, this will only really last in the fridge for two to three days. If you don't put any sugar in it, this can last in the fridge for five to six days. So there you go. Delicious homemade almond coffee creamer in under five minutes. 
Now, if you would like a free seven day detox, all you have to do is enter your email address in our website, theultimateyogadetox.com, and we will send you a free seven day detox with recipes, meal plans, shopping lists, the works, so that you can really give your body a good cleanse. And if you're interested in hearing more about our yoga detox workshops that we run every month, simply go to the workshops page of the website and all of the information will be there for you. This is Kim Constable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts and I will speak to you soon. Bye.